In this episode, beginner option number five, we're gonna have a look at some pull-up isometrics. So the idea with isometric training is that we're going to pick a spot down the path of the pull-up. So you can start at the top, somewhere in the middle, down towards the bottom. You are then gonna to try to hold your body in that position for a period of time. And this is what the isometric training is going to be. So let's start with the isometrics. And with the very first one, we're just gonna focus on the bottom dead hang position first. So we're gonna put our hands on the bar, squeeze nice and tight, and you're just gonna hang at the bottom. And you're just gonna hold this position for as long as you possibly can. So the next thing is that you can start at the top or work your way down at any position. And again, we're just holding our body in that position to get used to having our arms in that contracted state and spending time there. So let's go for the middle section and you don't have to jump up into it. You can use a box or some steps. And the idea is you're gonna put yourself in the position that you would be at. So we're gonna squeeze, squeeze, and hold. And then you just hold this again for as long as you can. And again, let's have a look at the top position. So again, I'm gonna use the steps. I'm gonna have a look at being at the top here. And come down, okay? There are actually two variables that we can change here. The first one is the position that we are gonna place ourselves on uh, the path for the pull-up. So you can start at the top or the bottom or go to the middle or anywhere in between. The second variable is the length of time you're gonna hold that position. So you can start at the top, hold that for 10 seconds, you come down. Then you go to the middle, you hold that for 10 seconds, you come down and you repeat. You could do that for three points, five points, however many points you want to do for as long as you want to do it. Now this means that again, this is very, very scalable. It means that you could actually make this exercise very, very difficult, or you can make it easy by just starting with the dead hang and getting used to hanging off the bar only. So at the other end of the scale, making this very difficult is quite easy. The way we do that is just increase the period of time and the number of points on the bar. So you can start at the top, you could start for 30 seconds, you come down 10% of the way, you hold that for another 30 seconds. You come down 20% of the way, you hold that for another 30 seconds. And you could prolong this for as long as you want for as many points on the bar as you want. So as you can see, this becomes very difficult or super easy by just putting somebody on the bar and holding the bar. Looking at the positives and negatives of this, the number one positive of this type of training is the fact that you can put yourself into the hardest positions that are hardest for you. So if there is any point along the path that you find particularly hard, what you can do is focus just on that one part, get into it using the step ladder and hold that position. And that is gonna reinforce your muscles to getting used to being in that position. The second great thing is primarily you just really need a bar and potentially a wall or a box or something to climb up onto to get into the position. But really all you need is a bar to get up and started with this exercise. Thirdly, this is superb exercise training for endurance, and lactic acid tolerance training. Now what that means is you are focusing more on the length of time being on the bar rather than getting used to strength training. So there's going to be a difference between strength training and endurance training. This is gonna be focused more on endurance training. So you're trying to get used to the amount of time being on the bar. The second thing, lactic acid tolerance training, is when you start doing exercise, when you start doing this type of training, lactic acid is a byproduct of your muscles doing the work. And getting used to the amount of lactic acid before you drop is actually a great way of training too. And this tolerance, learning how to get used to the lactic acid in the muscles and before you drop off of the bar is awesome, especially when it comes to parkour. Let's have a look at some of the things that this type of isometric training is not 
so well fitted for. The first one is essentially you could tell that we're not really doing any pulling again. So the pull is what we really want to be focusing on and isometric holds is not going to be working that pulling chain, rather the stabilizing chain. And we want to focus more on that pull. We're actually not doing so much strength training. As I mentioned earlier, we're doing endurance, muscular endurance, and lactic acid tolerance training, which are different from strength training. Pure strength training is where we are trying to increase our tolerance of the stress that we are putting on our body, and we're trying to increase the contraction of our muscles. Now, if we're not doing the contraction with this type of training, then we are not going to be increasing our strength, and we are definitely working endurance-based training by just holding our body on this position. So if you're looking to get stronger with the pull-up, this one is not going to be the most beneficial for you. There is definitely other types of the pull-up that we've gone through that is going to be better to getting stronger. So wrapping up, this is a great exercise to get started. We only need the bar. We're just working more towards the endurance side of things, not quite so much the strength stuff, but it is definitely a good way of training. And it's something that I always throw into my training as well to supplement any pulling training that I am actually doing. 